Sony wants to censor video games. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. If you guys like my channel, be sure to go to my social media accounts on both Facebook and Twitter. Also, if you guys want to support me financially, be sure to go to my Patreon page or my PayPal page in the links in the description down below. As everybody knows, Nintendo was very notorious for censoring video games in the past. The most infamous example of this was the first game in the Mortal Kombat franchise. As everybody and her mom knows, the game is very infamous for its gore and its fatalities. However, the first game in the franchise was censored by Nintendo and they got rid of the gore and the fatalities in the first game. <laughs> Fast forward to 2018 and it appears as though that Sony has censored a few games. Instead of censoring violence, they censored the sexual imagery in the games. Cube strives to release Japanese content for his fans as close to the source material as possible. In the case of Omega Labyrinth Z, while Cube has work with all the relative age rating bodies in their respective territory, Cube must respectively comply with the wishes of the platform holder and therefore withdraw any future plans for a Mega Library Z European and North American release on PS4 and PS Vita. Here's a screenshot comparison of the various versions of the game called Nora to a Shoe to Noriko Heart. If you look at the screenshot for the PS4 version of the game, the female with the bikini on is completely censored while the Switch and the PC versions are not censored. And finally, here's a statement from XC Games. The release of Shamran Kagura Buzz Renewal, yeah, I probably butchered that up really badly, will be slightly delayed as we remaster to remove the interacted intimacy mode from the PS4 version. The stream version will be released with that mode intact and will launch simultaneously with the PS4. Personally, I don't understand this mindset of censoring games just because of hurt feelings. I mean, obviously these games do not appeal to everybody. However, just because the game does not appeal to you does not mean there's not a fan base for these types of games. Sony playing the role of the concerned parent does not make much sense to me. Mostly because in the past, they're pretty much well known for not really censoring any types of games. They made games for children, for teenagers, for mature audiences. Apparently the main reason why they're censoring these games is because of a new policy that was done by Sony Computer Entertainment America. Personally, I'm concerned about this, mostly because of my concern about how the PS4 would be successful because people have this in their minds now that Sony might censor a game and also because censorship in general is not okay and obviously these games are made for adults so why would you censor a game that's already rated really mature for audiences that are actually 17 and older? That does not make much sense to me. What do you guys think about this issue? Tell me down below and I'll see you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.